Buying a microphone for your podcast is an investment and you don't want to potentially waste hundreds of dollars buying the wrong one. In this video, we're gonna help you make the right decision on the best microphone for you. There are so many options when choosing a microphone and questions you might have. You'll want to ask yourself these four questions before making a decision. How much should you spend? Should you get an XLR or a USB microphone? Condenser or dynamic? And which brand suits your needs best? First of all, there is no best microphone. When it comes to picking a microphone, it really depends on your circumstances, your budget, and what you're looking for. You could have a relatively noisy environment, so you'll need one with good background noise rejection. You might have a perfect recording studio, so you want the most sensitive microphone. You may also need to buy four microphones for your entire hosting team, so can't really break the bank. We'll hear you and we'll take all of these considerations in this video. Share a few options and we'll round off with R slash my favorite. If I spend more money, I'll get a better microphone, right? Mm, as with most things, it's not quite as simple as that. I've mentioned this before on the channel, but the law of diminishing returns hits microphones at around $100 to $200. So as you spend more, the distinguishable quality in the sound will get smaller and smaller. And there's much more that goes into the sound quality of the microphone, which I go into in more detail in this video. I'd suggest the best microphone for podcasting, if you're not worried about budget, is the Shure SM7B, which you will have seen a lot of the professional podcasters use. This is pretty much the gold standard when it comes to podcasting and will get you an exceptional sound for around $400. If you've got a smaller budget, you should look at options such as the Shure SM58 or the Rode NT-USB Mini, which you can pick up for around $100. I wouldn't recommend going much lower than $100 for your microphone as the quality will be significantly lower. We made a whole separate video explaining the difference between USB and XLR microphones and some of the best options across a few price brackets, which you can take a look at here. I'll quickly run through the difference. A USB microphone connects directly to your computer or laptop and you can get a very good sound for them but you will lose a little bit of the control that you might get with an XLR microphone. An XLR microphone requires an interface like the Focusrite 2i2 or Zoom H6 to process and convert the analog signal from your microphone into a digital one into your computer. The XLR microphones will get you a little bit more control over settings and gain, which is desirable. You'll also find the most expensive microphones at XLR because this is the way you can get the best quality. A fantastic USB option is the Shure MV7, which was made specifically for podcasters and has an XLR option too for when you get an interface. And the mic only costs around $250. Again, the Shure SM7B is a superb XLR dynamic microphone, but you might want to look in a Rode NTA1 for about $150 for an XLR condenser microphone. That brings me on nicely to my third consideration, condenser or dynamic microphone. A dynamic microphone is directional and has a lot of background noise rejection, and this is usually more forgiving in most situations. This is probably suited to most people's setups. A condenser microphone isn't directional and more sensitive, but may give you a high quality signal. This is the type of microphone you'd see in a recording studio because the treatment in these studios mean condenser microphones will work best. For me, I tend to opt for dynamic microphones because the treatment in the room I'm recording isn't perfect and there is some noise from outside my window. The Rode Procaster is a great dynamic option for podcasters and will only cost you around $150. I've used this personally for my podcast for a long time. You could also look at the Heil PR40 for around $300. Got unlimited budget and want to get the best mic there is? Take a look at the Neumann U87 AI, which is the voiceover mic which you'll hear in studios all around the world. You can pick one up for an eye-watering $3,000. There are some distinctive brands that make a good selection of microphones across the budgets that you can take a look at yourself. I recommend looking at Rode, Shure, Audio-Technica, Samsung, and Heil for your microphone needs. So you want to hear what I think are the best mics? Well, to suit my preferences and budget, you can see I really like this trusty Shure SM58. It's a good size, extremely well built, and I like the sound of it from my voice. 
In second place, I put the Rode Procaster as it's the mic I personally use for my podcasts. However, the plosives can be quite harsh and I have to make sure that my technique is good for it to sound its best. In third place, I choose the Shure SM7B. There is a reason it's the gold standard for podcasting. It sounds exceptional. However, for my budget, I personally don't think it's worth it, especially as you need something called a cloud lifter for it to sound at its best. To conclude, there is no perfect mic. You could spend $3,000 on a Neumann U87 and have the best microphone in the world and an empty bank account. Or you could spend $100 on the Rode NT USB Mini and have it sound perfect for your needs. The truth is, you've got to look at what's important for you and make an informed decision. I hope this video has helped you out with what to look for. As always, we love hearing from you. What microphone do you use? Leave a comment in the comment section below. We're going to be producing a bunch more videos on this YouTube channel about podcasting, video interviews and more. So if you want to learn more about starting and growing a podcast, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss an episode. Thanks for watching.